What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since the last video we put up, but we've been busy, you know, life, doing stuff to the cars, part out cars, etc., etc. So as you can tell by the name of the title, we are going to be introducing a new car to our fleet. We don't know if this car is gonna stay here a long time or a short period of time, but it's, it's a great car. Definitely one I wanted to own um, on my bucket list for sure. So before we get into that, I just wanted to give a little update on the Z. As you can see here, um, really not much has changed. I did change out the steering wheel for a nice uh, Injuku Racing Grip Royal wheel with the suede. Definitely uh, much better than what I had in here. So yeah, um, you expect to see me and Miguel back out at the track, hopefully next video, because we do have a track day coming up. And if you guys are local to us, you know that uh, Palm Beach International Raceway right now is uh, pretty much in the process of either being sold to a distributing company which wants to destroy the track and um, you know build a warehouse and stuff like that but then there's also people who are trying to buy it that are trying to keep it a racetrack so we got our fingers crossed hopefully that that doesn't happen because if not we're gonna have to go up to uh, OSW and Bradenton more often but that's far from us it's probably like about two and a half to three hours I think to Bradenton and then like an hour and a half to OSW which is not terrible obviously we're gonna keep doing it but it's you know it throws a big curveball and being able to just load up and go to the track which is 30 minutes away from us but yeah enough talking let's uh introduce the new car Right, guys well there you have it there is my new to me 2004 infinity g35 sedan with a six-speed manual uh these cars are great in my opinion i don't care what anyone says this is like the ultimate daily for me four doors six speed yes it's a de nothing fancy but it's still a good engine um so let me give you guys a little rundown of exactly everything that's done to it um and you know just go from there so like i said it's a 2004 um i bought the car it has a lower mileage swap on it so it's probably got about 58 to 60 000 miles on the engine um the whole chassis i believe has like 200k so obviously there's some maintenance items that we're going to be doing in the uh, upcoming videos but it runs really strong i drive it 45 mile or 45 minutes every day to and from work super solid um great daily you know it being six speed is literally just the best um there's so many of these automatic and uh they're just they're just trash in my opinion but it is what it is they're still a great car i actually am didn't pick it up with these wheels on i'm going to show you exactly in a picture right here how i got it So I sold the stock wheels, pretty much traded the stock wheels for these for the price that I paid for these XXRs. Um, yep, not real wheels, but they're nice. The perfect specs for this. They're an 18 by 8.75 plus 15 offset with a 245 4018 tire, and it is literally perfect. You can see it's pretty flush front and rear obviously it's on stock suspension but the stock suspension is from a 350z which if you don't know actually lowers it just a little bit granted it's still stock height but uh nothing you know nothing where it's slammed or anything like that it's fully functional ride height maybe we'll lower it one day i'm not i'm not sure yet but yeah moving forward um it did this car was pretty much set up to drift when i got it um which i didn't really like it had a welded diff it had a isr exhaust um it still has resonated test pipes i just swapped out the exhaust for a stock one so it sounds sounds good but it's definitely a lot quieter which is my goal i didn't want this thing to be super loud so with the welded diff i dropped that off or I, I took it out i sold it i put in a lower mileage vlsd which is what this car came with from factory so you know it's perfect there 
and then it also had a one-piece drive shaft which i got rid of and i put a regular two-piece drive shaft in it and i know what you guys are thinking like why would you do that those are great mods blah, blah blah it's just this is my daily so i don't really care to have all these like go fast mods i really just want it to be clean simple and reliable that's really my goal with this car so yeah so i sold that one-piece drive shaft to my buddy ryan shout out ryan for buying that and yeah i mean it's really a great car we already have some parts ordered that we are going to be installing in the next video for the most part the body's pretty clean i mean granted it's an 04 with 200,000 miles you got a little dent um back here you got a little dent in the quarter panel um the rear bumper's gray i don't know if you guys can tell or the camera will pick it up but overall solid daily um it's still a nicer car in my opinion it's not like some crazy vq with six different colors you know this is still a decent vehicle like i wouldn't mind pulling up in this you know it uh it's definitely uh, a gem a gem um you can't find these rarely in manual and when you do people are asking crazy prices so i got this for a steal of a deal and it's super reliable and yeah i mean stay tuned for the next mods that we're going to be throwing at this thing because it's going to be fire literally my, my goal with this is just oem plus ultimate daily another thing i forgot to mention about the car which it's it is a pro and a con um it's a pro because it's been changed it's a con because i don't like it is that it has an action clutch in it i believe it's like a stage two or stage three which is nice yes it's great because it's a newer clutch when you're banging gears it's going to work perfectly but it's it's a little overkill for this car you know it's not fast it's not like full bolt on tune it's not boosted nothing like you don't really need that clutch but like i said the person who had it before me was trying to set it up to drift so it's understandable am i going to change it no if i one day have to replace a transmission or anything like that will i change the clutch 100 percent. but for now i'm just whatever i'm glad it's been replaced and i'm just going to thug it out but yeah um i want to hear what you guys think you know uh share your opinions and comments down low and let me know what's up let me know what you guys want to see us do with this if we should hang on to it for a while if we should maybe do what we're going to do and then flip it and get something else what do you guys think I, i'm definitely open to hearing uh your guys suggestions opinions advice whatever it may be all right guys so uh I'm gonna be a ricer and set you guys up on a little tripod and give you some revs so you can hear how it sounds with uh, the stock exhaust. It's essentially stock headers, resonated test pipes, I don't know, probably from eBay or something. And then stock white pipe and then the exhaust is pretty much two resonators, two stock resonators, but the muffler was chopped off so there's no muffler. Um, it, you hear it at idle, sorry about the wind noise, but it, it doesn't sound too loud. So I'll set you up on a tripod and get some revs and then we'll go for a drive so we can enjoy this you know 220 horsepower g35 sedan but uh yeah let's get it big big youtuber you know recording exhaust clips sure all right if you see any black smoke come out of there just mind your business So one thing off rip when driving this thing is the clutch chatter. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear it or the camera's going to pick it up, but it literally sounds like it's knocking. And then you press the clutch in and it's like, oh, sound goes away, a lot quieter. Which, I mean, it's the normal for, for aftermarket clutches like this, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, let's go drive this uh, fast G35. Guys, so I'll give you like the normal just cruising one, two, three, four, or whatever. Um, the exhaust is still kind of loud, but it's not crazy loud, it's uh definitely way better than it was, in my opinion. So, fourth gear, you know, you still got a deep tone, but none, none to where it's like a legit VQ straight pipe. All right, guys, let's give her the, the old uh. Driver mod 20.
get hooked. Well, I mean, yeah, it's slow. So. Alrighty, guys. Well, there you have it. This is uh, the new addition to the fleet. And um, yeah, I'm really happy to have it. I've always wanted one of these. I've said it, if you know me personally, I've, I've always said I want a G35 four-door sedan. Who knows, maybe from here we'll get a G37 four-door sedan. But we shall see. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. As always, thank you for subscribing. Like and comment. See you in the next one. Peace.